So something I get asked probably <laughs> more about than anything else is my uh, my bash plate. My bash plate uh, combination toolbox. I'll talk about that. I'm going to point the camera at it so you can see what uh, how it fits, how it works, and uh, and then you know if you have any questions, just ask them in the comments. So it mounts on the back um, right here. Here they. That fits onto the onto the frame, and then there's a couple of allens that you tighten up, and then the front is positioned. Okay, so that's the in the back. And then at the front, there is this mount, which uh, I've done the bolts up nice and tight. Just pull those off. So this mount goes into into the frame section right here and it's not always the easiest to get in and it's free floating so you've got to kind of position and get that in get that in place and it's held in with two bolts so it's pulled up to the bike and then it's held at the back as well so it's kind of locked uh, backwards and forwards The toolbox itself, um, it's made by a company called um, Scheffelmeyer Metal, and they're in Germany. And um, um, their website is a little strange at the moment, so I'm not even sure if they're still in business or not. But if you uh, send a message to um, Mike at Takomoto, um, he was actually looking about making some, a variation of this. So if you hound him enough, um, just takomoto.co, um, I'm sure he'll he'll get on that and start making one. So. So the mount, as I said, you've got the uh, on the on the back, so it goes into the frame, bolts through on the front, and you have a, a bash plate. The, the toolbox is a separate part that's actually bolted on, and it has a door, so that gives you an idea. I actually, just cleaned it, so it's uh, got a little bit of water dripping it. Let's move that that way. So it's it's big. I mean, it's it's a big space. And obviously with that, what you've got to do is, it's nice that you got your tools way down low, but you need them to not take too many tools, but you need that it's a nice tight fit so that they're not bouncing around. And if you, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but if, if you can, it's not waterproof. It is, there is daylight in there. So um, your tools are going to get wet. So you want to oil your tools so they don't go rusty. And then when you fold it down on the side, it has these latches and then you can just fit a lock through there. Um, so generally what I do, I use, um, um, I use a combination lock so I don't have to carry extra keys. That's going to fit, um, I got one specifically that was a very tight fit. So that's going to fit on there. And um, then what I do is I run a zip tie through it as well to hold that in place so, so you're not rattling around and the same thing with the tools you don't want anything sitting in there that's, that's loose because again it's going to generate um it's going to generate noise vibration so yeah so that's that's how the toolbox works it's nothing nothing crazy but it is extremely well made and um it's around. i mean the welding on it is 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 good precision welding um i mean this thing will last i mean i've had it on the bike for i think uh about twenty eight thousand, twenty eight thousand miles uh, sorry twenty eight thousand kilometers and um yeah it's, it's held up um obviously i haven't been over anything too crazy with it but yeah it's uh it's good so chef on my metal if you go online look them up um um, if you're not getting any response from them, then get in touch with Mike at Takamoto and tell him to get his ass in gear and, and make one because you want one. And they're not not cheap. Um, if you're not in Europe and you're shipping it to the States, by the time you pay the exchange rate and shipping and import duty and everything, you're looking close to $500. So mounting it, um, basically you can get your little door there, you've got to get your hands in here and you've got to position it and um, snug it up um, it uh, 
a ratchet is the I found is the absolute easiest way to to get at it. Um, so you're just going to get in inside there and basically just just ratchet ratchet it tight, or at least at least snug. Um, obviously, your exhaust and the door kind of get in the way of each other. Hope that's not too annoying on the video. Uh, so once you have a reasonable fit, um, it's reasonably snug, then uh, what you want to do is push it, push it back and snug down underneath um, the allens that are on here. And basically what these are, they're just like little pinch clamps. So again, just snug these so you kind of you feel like you're in the right position and then just go from the front to the back um, and just get it get it mounted um, so once you get to that point and you're pretty tight snug like any like any bash plate you're just gonna lock it down nice and tight um, front is, is locked tight and then just go to the back and uh, and then just lock down your the two allens at the back this is going to pinch it onto the onto the cross member on the frame and uh, that's that's about it it's uh and you can fill it with whatever whatever tools you want so, so it's rock solid so also what i do is i have a i have a brake snake so um on mine i just run that i drill an extra hole and just run that into into there and then just position that so i have enough enough braking so yeah so Sheffelmeyer metal out of Germany. Like I say, expend, expect to spend oh, four to five hundred dollars if you're in the U.S. because um, the shipping isn't, you know, it's a big piece. Uh, a little bit of uh, import duty possibly as well. So, but very good, very impressed. Um, yeah. For those of you that are familiar with what a brake snake is, um, basically. If you're riding off road and uh, what it does, it stops um, if there's any like wads of grass or branches or whatever tree roots that get behind your, your brake pedal and that's just the restriction. So you don't buckle your, your brake pedal and just bend it all the way back. This will, this will stop it, this will protect it. So it's just a, if you're not familiar, it's just a, a thing that a lot of uh, off-road riders use um, just to basically just to save components.